Hi guys, it's Netta Monroe and I'm here to show you how to install a lace closure with an elastic band. It is very easy and it also keeps your sew-in for a longer time so that your closure does not shift and also when your hair grows out it does not lift. Elastic band can be found at your local fabric store or arts and crafts store. Your first stitch is going to be through the elastic band and through the outermost perimeter of the braid the one that's right there at the front edges to secure the band and that just ensures that the band does not move through the install and any weft that goes to that first braid in the front is going to go through the band once you're done securing your band you're then going to proceed to secure your closure you're just going to go around the outside of the closure through the strip and through the braid Make sure that while you're going around the perimeter of the closure sewing that you keep it as flat as possible. Make sure your last stitch on the closure also goes through the band and through your braid. It's very important to not have a gap in between the closure and your final weft. So right now all I'm doing is sealing that gap and sewing them together. To finish off securing the closure, I do invisible stitching and that's shown all down this parting. And I do do it with the black thread and you cannot see it. It is a technique that I um, use very frequently when working with lace. Now that her closure has been customized to her liking, I'm going to put foam wrap on her hair to set it. I chose to style her with a big barrel curling wand and I chose to also pin it so that her curls will last. This is what her hair looks like when I'm done curling. Once all the curls have cooled, you can remove the pins and style it to your client's liking. This is what we came up with. She absolutely loved it. Thanks you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, you can comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Our first giveaway will be done at 3,000 subscribers, so make sure you click that button. Also, I'll be doing giveaways on Instagram, so make sure you follow at Netta underscore murderdom. All the information I have for you will be in the description box.